Okay, so we're going to do a quick demonstration of um, a targeted neurological assessment. Thank you so much for being patient. I'm going to walk in. We're going to say we're dispatched for a patient uh, who thinks they're having a stroke. <coughs> we arrive uh, on scene. Uh, I walk in. Uh, one patient. Uh, look at my number of patients, uh, how severe they are, and whether or not I think I need additional resources. Uh, I walk in. Uh, I say, hi, my name is Matthew. I'm paramedic. What's your name? Ethan. Hi, uh, Ethan. Uh, what's going on today? I'm uh, just, I got a headache and I'm feeling a little weak right now. And uh, I just find it hard to see out of my left eye. Wow, you're a, v a fantastic historian. Thank you. <laughs> uh, when, did the, when did your headache start, Ethan? So from his conversation, I can see that he's completely alert. He has no delay in cognitive function. His airway is obviously patent. He's breathing. He doesn't seem in any overt distress. And I can feel a pulse while I just mind if I feel a pulse and see if it's regular strong. I'll delegate my partner to get a set of vitals. So you were telling me when your headache started. Um, about an hour ago. About an hour ago. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so, and what were you doing when it started? Um, I was just cooking. Just cooking. Yeah. Okay. And uh, when this headache started, did it uh, did it just come on all of a sudden and like just kind of like a light switch? Somebody turned on a headache, or did it just gradually get worse? Um, it gradually got worse. Just gradually got worse. Okay. Anything seem to make it better or worse? Um, just sitting down just makes it feel. I'm just a little bit better. better. Is light bothering you, or yeah, sounds yeah. seem really in, uh, loud? Um, yeah, the light is bothering me. Okay. Yeah. Do you find if you're moving your head around or anything like this, is that cause? Do you feel like you have any tight muscles in your neck? If you push your put your hands on the back of your neck, does that any of that hurt when you're moving anywhere or anything? Um, it doesn't really hurt, but when I move my head, uh, it kind of worsens the headache. Okay. Um, uh, how would you describe the headache? Sharp, dull, pressure? Any any it words just feels come throbbing. to mind? Throbbing. And does it seem to go anywhere? Is it where is it? If you were to point whereabouts it is on your head, where would you Close, say? It's like on the side so of my head. Does it go down into your neck or anything like that? Um, no, or just no, stay in your head. That's all on my head. Okay. Um, if you had to give a, if you ten being the worst pain you've ever had and zero being no pain at all, what number would you give this pain? Um, it's a, it's a nine. 9 or 10. Mm -hmm. So it started about an hour, and did it start at a 9, or what did it start at? Just kind of like a 1 a and gradually got ba worse, or did it start at a 6? It or started at a 6, yeah. And when did, it, when did it go to a 9? How many minutes ago? About 15 minutes ago. Okay. So if I'm understanding you correctly, uh, you got headache started a, uh, an hour ago. It gradually came on was a 6 out of 10, uh, 15 minutes ago became a 9 out of 10, um, it's aggravated by movement and by light, and you have this throbbing kind of description, uh, 9 out of 10 is the number you're giving it. Any allergies? Uh, no. Any On any medications? I don't take any medications. Any over-the-counter medications? Um, no. Any no. aspirin or ibuprofen I use? take ibuprofen after whenever I'm in pain. How often, how many, uh, how many tablets would you have in a, in a um, week? Uh, two to four. Two to four? Yeah. <coughs> no, uh, no other prescribed, no prescribed medications? Um, no, nothing like that. Okay, no naturopathic remedies or any herbs or anything like no. that? No. Okay, um, as far as uh, past, uh, do you have a history of any headaches? Uh, in do you have, are you prone to get in severe headaches or? Uh, no, I'm not. Okay. Um, no, never been told uh, you've had seizures or uh, migraines or uh, no, no strokes or anything like that. I've in had headaches past? before, but nothing like this. Nothing one. like this. What normally brings on your headache? Like you have a stressful day or have a, a, a stress, stress. Uh, 
I have like a lot of headaches when I when I'm under stress. And have you been under much stress recently? Um, not too much recently. No. Not, not too much. Right. Okay. Um, do you have any family history of neurological conditions, strokes, seizures, migraines, anything like that? Um, on my father's side, um, his grand his father had a stroke. How old was he when he had a stroke? Um, he was sixty. Okay. Um, okay. Um, you haven't been noticing that you're dizzy uh, or having uh, just difficulty with coordination or muscle strength in the last week. Um, I'm just I'm I'm feeling weak. Okay. Um, uh, not so much dizzy. Okay. Um, uh, no numbness or tingling or anything anywhere. Um, no. No. Um, and uh, with your weakness, you're just finding it harder to get up and get around as far as walking and I am, yeah. simple, basic function. And that's just been the last week. Yeah. Okay. Um, Jerry, uh, is, are you a smoker? Uh, no, I don't smoke. Uh, a history, no history of high uh, blood pressure or high cholesterol? Um, no, nothing like that. No? How much would you exercise in a day? How many minutes would you spend walking or doing some other form of exercise? An hour. An hour? <coughs> okay. Um, uh, do you drink alcohol? Uh, yeah, I do. How, ma how many alcoholic drinks would you have in a week? Um, ten. Okay. How much would you have in I any... Uh, how Would those be spread evenly? Like, how many would you typically have a day... Or would some of those, would you have a day that you'd have 10 drinks or? Uh, probably on the weekends, it would be spread out. Spread out, you probably have? 10 drinks on a weekend. 10 drinks over over Friday, Saturday? Friday, Saturday, yeah. Nights, so it's probably five per night? Yeah. Okay. <coughs> okay, uh, n no diagnosed problems with your heart? Uh, no. No, haven't felt any irregular beats or anything in your chest lately? No. No. What about your lungs, no problems with your lungs? Uh, no problems with your bowel or stomach or uh, kidneys? Uh, no. No? And no, no history of diabetes? No. Okay. Family history of diabetes? Um, not that I know of. Okay. Okay. Uh, <coughs> okay. Uh, never had anything like this before. Never saw medical uh, attention for the symptoms you're having today? No. No. Okay. Uh, last time you were to your doctor? Uh, last month. Just for a routine checkup. Okay. Are they discontinue or change any or or prescribe any medications at that time? Um, no. In the last few, uh, uh, pr the last month, uh, so three, uh, so two weeks ago you were feeling fine. A week ago you noticed you just feel a little bit uh, more weak and harder to get around. And yeah. today you got a headache. Yeah. Okay. So at this point, I'd get vital signs back from my partner. And we'll say we have a blood uh, a heart rate of sixty-eight. A blood pressure of uh, 192 on 104, uh, respiratory rate of 20, uh, satting at 98%, uh, blood glucose of uh, 6.9, temp of 37.6, and uh, skin is pink and warm and dry. Um, Okay, I'm going to have you do a quick uh, uh, a little test for me okay. uh, called the Cincinnati Stroke Scale. Can you, uh, f first of all, can you repeat the phrase, you can't teach an old dog new tricks? You can't teach an old dog new tricks. Okay. Can you give me the biggest smile you possibly could see? Okay, so no asymmetrical in, in your face. If I had any concern, I could say, can you look uh, just a family member, just any differences in the face that you're noticing? Um, I'm going to get you to get stick your hands out, palms up. Okay. I'm going to get you to close your eyes and just hold them for 10 seconds. I'll count to 10. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. Okay, thank you. And open your eyes. Now, this arm here uh, seems to be just uh, uh, drifting a little bit. Have you been noticing any weakness on this side, particularly? Um, when I when I opened my eyes, I realized that I am weak on that side. I just felt general weakness. Uh, but not uh, not really noticing anything between your hands. Can you squeeze my fingers for me? Just squeeze as hard as you can. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Okay, yeah, I'm noticing a little bit different there. So um, we've got some vital signs on you. Uh, my partner has been kind enough uh, 
uh, to, to get those for us. We're going to get on our way to the hospital with that finding. We might be concerned that you might be having a stroke. Okay. So we're going to get on to uh, on route uh, to our stroke center um, just to make sure. Uh, it's possible that it could be something else, but we better. it's better to be safe than sorry in okay. regards to those types of things. So we load our patient in our stretcher, get on route to the hospital, and let's say that we're more than t uh, 20 minutes away. What I would do at this point is I need to notify the stroke center, say, hi, we're coming in with this patient, this is their medical history, this is the current vital signs, and we have a positive Cincinnati stroke scale, one of the three criteria. Um, uh, just so you know, I could do my thrombolytic checklist, which we'll get in and cover that with you. Uh, and then I would get uh, probably a couple of IVs uh, available to us, so we get two IVs. Once that's done, then we can get back to our detailed neurological assessment, but we're already en route to the stroke center. Okay, So um, we got those IVs started, we're fast forwarding a little bit of time. And uh, I'm just gonna, we're gonna go through and do a cranial nerve assessment on you, uh, if that's all right. It just involves me doing some stuff with your head and uh, your face or whatnot. Okay. Uh, to start off, I'm just gonna get you to close your eyes and you tell me what you, what you smell here. Yeah. Can you smell that? Um, alcohol? Yeah, so it's just rubbing alcohol, great. Can you read the words on this here? Um, I don't, just read the words on this here, just hold it appropriate distance away and just tell me what that reads there. Non-woven sponges, sterile, and four ply. Okay. Now, can you cover one of your eyes and read that again and tell me if you notice any difference? Cover my eyes? Just cover one of your eyes and see if there's any difference. Non-woven sponges, sterile, <coughs> four ply. Okay. Now, cover your other eye and see if you can see any difference there. Um, Non-moving sponges, sterile, four-ply. Okay, do you notice any difference in your vision there that seems new to you? Yeah, my left eye, it's kind of hard to see. Seems a little bit harder. Were you noticing that before when you're reading it with both your eyes or just not quite as much? Not quite as much. It was more when I covered my right eye. Okay, okay. Uh, I'm going to get you, uh, if I could borrow someone's pen light. Or I'll use my phone. I have a dozen of them coming at me. <coughs> um, so I'm just going to get you to follow my eyes here. Okay. If you don't mind uh, looking, at it. I'm gonna j just gonna follow the tip of the follow my eyes, follow the tip of the pen light. Okay, mm -hmm. I'm just gonna move across a couple of different uh, ranges of your visual field. Just keep your head uh, straight ahead and just follow me with your eyes. And I'm lo noting that he doesn't have any gaze directed nystagmus. That the eyes are moving together. I'm just gonna uh, make you go cross eyed. Just follow me all the way into your nose here. I notice that as he con converges. Uh, the pupils constrict a little bit. That's all, uh, all normal. Um, I'm just going to check your peripheral vision. Okay, <coughs> you just tell me. Can you see this over here? Yeah. Okay, and over here. Mm -hmm. Now you tell me which which finger is moving, right or left? Left. Right. Right. Okay, so you have a, a pretty good peripheral vision. Um, and um, we've checked for. Uh, so uh, I'm just going to shine a light in your eyes. Just look straight ahead at me. Assessing both direct and consensual. Okay, so looking at both pu uh, both pupils. Um, uh, we're going to do some sensory and motor uh, things with your face. Um, I've got uh, I've got a, a blunt needle here. It's just kind of sharp, like a like a maybe a paper clip would be. Okay. And uh, and today it is a paper clip, but we use a blunt needle and just a piece of gauze so we can feel something so soft or otherwise. I just want you to let me know if it feels anything different on your face, okay? So I'm just going to touch your forehead here. I can notice that when I touch his forehead uh, around his eyes, he has a, a corneal uh, reflex. And what about down here as well? Do you notice any difference? No numbness or tingling or difficult feeling on one side compared to the other? Um, no. No? Okay, I'm gonna just try with this pin, okay? You just let me know if you feel it the same. Any differences there? Um, no. No? no. Okay. <coughs> um, I'm just gonna, can you just wrinkle up your forehead? Okay, uh, so r r raise your eyebrows as high as you can. Good. Scrunch your eyes together. Tight, 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 tight. Great. Good. Okay, I'm just going to feel your forehead here. Can you bite your jaw really hard? Can I feel it? Okay. Can you bite your jaw again? Okay, great. So I feel nice equal muscle mass there um, as I've lost my pin. Oh, here we go. Uh, as I will try not to uh, try not to lose my pin, I'll be 
in a, in a rough way. Um, I'm just going to get you to um, puff out your cheeks. Don't let me, don't let me pull the air out. Okay, so we've got good muscle, musculature in his mouth. I'm um, going to get you to stick your tongue out. Uh, can you say ah for me? Uh, okay, you can see that his soft palate's midline, uh, his tongue's uh, not deviated from one side uh, to the other. Um, and can you say this, the phrase, you can't teach an old dog new tricks again? You can't teach an old dog new tricks. Okay, seems the same as it was before. You don't <coughs> notice any difference? No. Okay, um, just going to do some muscle movement with your head. Um, can, uh, so I'm going to get you to push my hand away. So the first thing I'm going to get you to push your, my hand away when, by turning your head okay. and then by pushing your forehead. Too. So just push my hand away. Great. On the other side. Okay, and down. Push down. Great. Good. Can you shrug your shoulders? Good. Good. Okay. Maybe a little bit. L okay, they're a bit the same. Um, so we're done your cranial nerve test. We're going to assess uh, some sensory uh, on the rest of your body, uh, if that's all right with you. Okay. Um, so uh, I'm just going to get you to we'll s start off and just hold your hands on either side like this. So uncross your hands. Just set them on your lap. I'm just going to touch the outside of your hands. Any f does that feel different at all? Uh, yeah, it feels different on my left side. It does it feel n numb or yeah, tingly? I can't really feel it. Feel it at all or not, not at all? Um, it just like, I know you're touching it, but I can't feel it. It's just different. Okay. Yeah. What about here and here? Um, no, it's the same on the left side. Same, same on the left side? What about up here? Any differences? Yeah, there's a difference. Yeah, it's still up here? Yeah. Okay. I'm just going to try with my pin again, okay? Do you feel this? I feel it more on my right side. Okay. It's the same there. And it's the same. No, no big differences there. No. Okay. <coughs> Down in your feet. I'm just going to roll your pant leg up here. Okay. Uh, when I when I touch here, does that feel different from over here? Um. Or here, or here? It feels, um, I feel it more on my right leg. Okay. What about here and here? Yeah, more on the right Here leg. and here? Okay. Um, we're just going to do some uh, movement. Uh, I'm just going to do some strength tests with you. Okay. Can you uh, squeeze my fingers as hard as you can? Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Great. Can you make, uh, oh, actually, just hold your, hold your fingers out like this. Now try to spread your fingers apart. Spread, 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 spread. Okay, great. Can you make two fists like you're going to fight with me? Okay. Don't. <laughs> okay, push me away. Okay, my stretcher would be locked in. Okay, pull me towards you. Okay, noticing differences on his left side. Um, uh, so when I come up down to your feet, can you push me, push me away? Pull me towards you. Okay, bend your knees up. Bend your knees up on the bed. Can you lift that leg up okay? Or does that feel funny there to get it's, that leg? It's hard. It feels heavy? Mm -hmm. Can you push that down? Push your leg down? Okay. Not a lot of strength. Back up here. Put, bend your knees again. Push me up. Okay. Can you push your legs together? Okay. And push your knees apart. Okay. So, lo so you're, we are noticing some weakness on that side. You can lay your, set your legs down there. Um, some uh, a few last uh, tests just before we get to the hospital. Um, I'm just going to get you to take your hands. Uh, can you do this with me? Can you just do this back and forth? <laughs> okay, great. Can you take? Uh, I'm going to get you to start with your right hand. I'm just going to get you to touch your nose and then my finger. Okay. Kay. Yep. Go ahead. Here and then back over to this side again, and once more. Great. Can you do it with this hand, please? Mm -hmm. Good. And back again. Great. And over here. Great. Okay. Um, I'm just going to... Uh, where were you born? Um, Sydney. Okay. What year? Uh, 1992. 1992. Okay. Um, and I just want you to remember, if you don't mind, remember my name's Matthew. Mm -hmm. uh, my favorite color is blue, and I have two children. Okay. Can you remember that? I'm going to ask you that when we get to the hospital. Okay. Okay. Uh, when we get to the hospital, I'll have him stand up. Uh, when we get to the hospital, if he can stand, 
Now, depending on his symptoms, um, he's got a little bit of weakness. We'll get him to turn his feet and see if he can stand up and see what he feels like that. Um, just to demonstrate uh, gait assessment. So we're just going to turn your head. My partner would come on the other side of him. We'll say that he's there. Can you? Uh, we're just going to swing your feet down. Can you okay. swing your feet down, all right? I can help you if you can. Mm -hmm. And how do you, do you feel like you're going to be able to stand up? And we'll see. Now, with his weakness, this may not be assessed um, with his weakness that we've already detected. If he was a patient that didn't have uh, any obvious weakness, uh, a gait assessment would be more appropriate. So let's just pretend we didn't find any great because I just want to demonstrate this for you. And then we'll go. So we're just going to get you to stand up here and uh, just stand up. How do you feel there on your feet? Um, feel dizzy at all or you feel okay? I'm feeling a little dizzy. So if he feels dizzy, we're just going to stop there. We don't have to go any further. If he didn't feel any dizziness and he felt okay, I could get him just stand there by on his own. Then I can get him to close his eyes for 10 seconds. Go ahead and close your eyes. And we'll see if he sways at all. And he's a little bit of sway is normal, but he should be able to maintain himself upright with his eyes closed for 10 seconds. And then we can get him to walk over to the hospital, uh, walk over to the hospital. Do you want to try walking over to the hospital? And just see how his gait is as he walks over, and then he can walk back. So we can just walk back, and you can have a seat in the hospital bed. Okay?